Hey everyone, it's Inspired Jill Min, and today this is going to be my inspired look for the 4th of July. I know this video is a little late, but it's better late than never, and just for anyone else who's going to need this for the next 4th of July. So let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to put our hair away, and I'm just putting a little ponytail for my bangs and putting my hair to the sides. After that, I'm going to take this clean and clear cleanser and start washing my face. You want a clean face for your new makeup look, especially in the humidity. So once I finish that, now I'm going to actually take my Queen Latifah foundation and get started on getting those imperfections blended into my skin so that it's all like a clean canvas ready for the makeup palettes. Now that you got the foundation all squared away, let's get started on the eyeshadows. So the eyeshadows I'm going to be using the first color out of three is going to be called Iceland. I'm going to use that and I'm going to actually color it into the inner corners of where my tear ducts are on the inner part and then bring it into the middle. Doing this, I'm going to use the other colors to do just a three color fade out. And if you don't understand what I mean, just keep watching the following clips. It should be very helpful. Now the next two colors that I'm going to be using are the two blue and the firework. I'm going to use two blue first as to the middle part of the gradients and I'm just going to start from the middle and then bring it out and then for firework I'm just going to end it up at the end of the gradient colors and make it wing out toward the end so it's easier for me to apply my eyeliner. To help shape the whole eyeliner to make sure it's not messy, I use I cleaned off my applicator with some warm water and a paper towel and I just made sure that everything was shaped around it and you don't really need any specialness, just clean it up just a little bit with a q-tip or a clean applicator. Here the fun part comes, so I'm going to use my NYX color crayon which is the eye color crayon, it's a jumbo eye pencil. I'm going to use it to color underneath my eyes and not all the way to the corner part of my tear dud, but just on the outer parts of my eye, just to where the outside of it is. Because on the inner color, we're going to use the same firework eyeshadow for the inner parts of the tear duds. So it kind of balances out more red from the top of the eyeshadows that I had for my upper lids. So we're going to bring our artist scale out, and we're going to just work our way with the liquid eyeliner from the middle all the way out to the outer corner of the eye and don't try to add too much dramatic to the outer corner wing if you want to go ahead but for me I wanted the main focus to be the eyeshadows because I wanted people to see that it was all of the 4th of July colors and once you finish on one side do the other now I don't know how I definitely forgot this but we're gonna do the eyebrows which is optional I'm gonna use this eyebrow pencil which I got from Nikki K eyebrow pencil where they also make really good lipsticks that you can find in your local beauty supply store I'm just gonna use it because it has a brush and pencil added to it that I can actually sharpen and I got it for about two dollars so worth the money and I'm just gonna first I'm gonna just go in slowly and surely lightly and then I'm just going to brush it in with my other side and just make sure everything is all together. And it's very good to use this because even after a trim, you know everything is put together and on point. Now before I apply anything onto my lips, I'm using this Carmax and it's in a cherry flavor just to prime my lips. So it keeps it moisturized for a longer time with my lipstick that I will be using. And it's good to do this because it's also good for cold sores and really really dry lips or skin parts so yes it helps with your eyebrows too so to draw my star I did a white crayon pencil that I used for my under eyes as a sample and then I'm going to use my eyeliner to actually fill it out so it was very hard to do this because my crayon was not as sharp so I, I went in with my liquid eyeliner to just outshape the actual star and I kind of fucked up if you guys can't tell a lot of times so be very careful please
Once I have that actually completed, I'm just going to put a red kind of stripe underneath the star, making it shoot out as if it's flying. And I'm going to use my firework eyeshadow with that, along with the two blue eyeshadow, just to bring it out to seem like it's flying at you, like a star spangled beer. Da -da -da. So once the makeup was done, now I have to move on to the next thing, the hair. So since it was going to be hot and humid where I was going to be going outside, I decided to keep it simple and cute and just decided to do two braids for each side of my head. It's simple, it's cute, and it brings out the makeup a lot more. And plus, on top of that, I wanted a little red to pop out with the red and white that I had on my shirt, and I put a red ribbon around my head. And then that is my 4th of July inspired look. Alright guys, that is it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness. And it's only up to you to make every day beautiful. And I hope you guys do. So I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh, it hurt. <laughs> you believe?